what's up? It is the end of the day and I'm headed out to run my errands as per usual. And I hate to sound like a broken record, but we are having nice weather today. I'm really enjoying it. You know, knock on whatever synthetic material this is. August is typically the hottest month, at least in my experience living here. And it has not been too terrible. Maybe, I, you know what it is? I'm probably just getting used to it. I'm getting used to the summers here. I'm somebody though that I don't mind heat, so it doesn't, it doesn't bother me as much. But yeah, you know, the planet is generally heating up, but somehow Houston doesn't seem to be as hot or hotter than it normally is this year. So grateful for that. But yeah, it's definitely, definitely the temperature rise globally is uh, definitely affecting the, uh, the oceans, that's for sure. Nuking the coral reef to death. Um, and uh, also there's a rise in uh, the bacterial counts, unfortunately, in, uh, in the ocean. Uh, it's not, not desirable. So anyway, fun thoughts. But I'm headed to the, just headed to the uh, bank and uh, then I'm going to Costco, of course. But, you know, the other day I mentioned to you guys how sometimes YouTube will send me these little, like, newsletters. I don't know. It's kind of cool. You feel like you're part of some kind of, uh, it's called, like, your creator newsletter. It's kind of, I don't know. It's kind of nifty. It's like, it makes it a little less one man is an island kind of thing as a, as a vlogger. They give you little updates about what's going on in the world of, of the interwebs. And apparently, uh, they were saying on there that videos that have minors under the age of 13 get, on average, three times the views. So, I think Ty B is going to have to move in with me. <laughs> no, I would never exploit Ty B for, for uh, channel growth. <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah, that's kind of a... You know, interesting. I know there has been a lot of scandal and, um, frankly, disturbing behavior on YouTube as far as uh, minors are concerned. You know, content with with minors. Some of the comments have been the uh, part of that that whole scandal. You guys know about that with the the pedophilia ring or whatever. It's terrible. And unfortunately, YouTube's way of handling that, although it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, is to uh, just turn off comments on family channels where they're minors. And I don't really understand how that, how that changes things. I mean, it seems like it doesn't prohibit pedophiles from watching the content. So, you know, I, I don't understand that. Um, it just hurts those channels who can't interact with their their audience. Cheerful thoughts. Pedophiles and global warming. Sorry guys. So yeah, I just left the bank, but anyway, I was saying, uh, a lot of the uh, YouTube channels, like the family channels and whatnot, they have, um, they've had their comments disabled. Like they can't interact with their audience, which is really a pain. Gentleman just took a topple. He's on his bike, and there's a there is a uh, little uneven part in the pavement there, and he just took a topple. That did not look pleasant. Fortunately, he's wearing a helmet, but yeah, you guys, it's been like almost it's been almost two years since I took that topple on the pavement. It really tore up my um, skin on my arm. It's healed nicely. I should show it to you guys sometime. Uh, I have a little. I have a little dispigmentation there, a little hypo hyper pigmentation mix, but uh, yeah, that was a bad, bad fall I took, and where I dinged my arm. I'm telling you, silicone scar sheet saved me. Um, they really helped the healing of that. A protected it from from the sun, and uh, you know, B frictional forces and things that can interfere with wound healing. That's where by silicone scar sheets. Uh, you have to wear them all the, like, 24-7 around the clock, though. Uh, and, 
you know, they can kind of help once the scar is already formed. Like you're wondering, like I have a scar now, would it be helpful to use a silicone scar sheet? Modestly, I mean, it, it won't hurt it, but the, the tr they really help in the beginning stages, like when the skin has healed over, and they really help in reducing the chances of a scar, uh, uh, improving the appearance of the future scar, we'll say. So for example, like at the time of a surgery, uh, like a surgical excision or something, your your skin surgeon or your, your doctor may, may tell you to use silicone scar sheets once the skin heals over, you get a better cosmesis. But uh, yeah, it really helped with, with the spots on my arms. Particularly, I took a ding here to my, right here, my wrist, and then right here, the spot on my, on my um, anticubital fossa here. Uh, and it went down to the dermis, so I knew it was gonna make a scar, but it's not as bad as I was expecting. So I'll have to show it to you guys up close sometime. Uh, yeah. I got in the 20 pack of G2 gel roller multicolor, but they also added in the lineup the pastels. Somehow I don't think that those would write very well. I don't know. They, I think they'd be hard to see, but they're pretty. I love G2s. I like the blue and the black the best. How cute is this multitasking lap tray? I have it set up here. Um, you can put your tablet and your phone in there. And a snack. <laughs> this is really cool. It's a bottle brush and straw brush set. 10 bucks. Clean inside of your reusable straws and uh, inside the bottles. Oh, I love that. Alright, didn't get much from Costco this week, just the usual suspects. My riced cauliflower, it's time to restock. And the stir fry vegetable blend, I am loving to bits. I've been eating it nightly in my slow cooker soups that I throw together. Of course, my Boscovich spinach, and you guys, I, as much as I hate to admit it, this new organic celery is better than the old non-organic celery. It tastes a lot better. I hate it when that happens. You know, organic produce can be cost prohibitive for people, and I'm not a fan of that. And as far as the debate as to whether or not it's better, it always makes my head hurt when I hear the different arguments. So whatever, um, uh, I can't speak to that. But I will say this from personal experience, sometimes organic tastes a heck of a lot better. And that is the case with these celery sticks. They are, they're just they just taste much better. I mean, at the same time, all it is is, the only thing celery is is cellulose and water. <laughs> and, and I'm going on and on about how it tastes better. It, it really does though. If I were blindfolded, I could taste a difference. I'm almost convinced. This is what I'm telling myself to justify the, the increased price that I'm now paying for the celery. They took away the non-organic. Okay, I, I, enough, enough beating myself up over this. All right, and then from Kroger this week, I got uh, radishes, five bags. Love those in my air fryer. I also got the um, classic garden salad mix. I love this stuff, it's so crisp. I got two more cantaloupes. These may be the last few weeks of cantaloupes, who knows? They, they, they stay in season for a long time, but. Um, yeah, I got a few chayote squash. Jiving on the parsley lately. I got three lone carrots from the bulk selection. My two heads of cabbage there some garlic, and I also got some unsalted uh, peanuts, dry roasted. Just the only ingredients are peanuts. I thought I might try making peanut milk. <laughs> I don't know how well that will go. I don't know if you can do that with the dry roasted peanuts, if they have to be raw peanuts, but we'll see um, how that goes. I'll keep you guys posted. I may not get to that. I and I love peanuts, so I may just eat them. <laughs> so if you don't hear from me, it's because I ate them and didn't make the nut milk. Anyways, <laughs> this I ordinarily would not buy, but it was on sale. Kroger was offering a $1.50 off coupon and 
wait for it, it is on Ibotta. Ibotta is the rebate app I use. So I got this for pretty inexpensive. It's just spiralized butternut squash. They also have spiralized zucchini, but it never looks appetizing. And it's so easy to spiralize a zucchini. But spiralizing butternut squash seems slightly more arduous, so given the deal and whatnot, I figured I would give this a try. Also on Ibotta, the sour raisin watermelon, golden raisins from Miss Sunmade herself. Really enjoying those. And this I had a coupon for through Kroger, so it was pretty cheap. My good old fashioned oats. I eat these a lot and they're kind of a staple for me. I always like the Kroger brand. Uh, and did you know that one serving of oatmeal has five grams of protein? So yes, and I find that if I eat, like these do not take that long to cook at all. I mean, you can make them in the microwave, but I find if I, if I eat quick cook oats, my satiety is not as long lasting as if I eat whole grain oats. Yeah, love my oats. I don't know about putting watermelon raisins in them though on me. I don't know that I'll be doing that. <laughs> Anyways, and these are the matches that I get to light my little candles. You know, me and my candle habit. I like the long reach matches. And I, if you're new here, I, I have a thing with matches. I prefer to use wooden matches. I find something relaxing about the striking of the match. I hate um, lighters. They always, yeah, it's reaching your hand in there. And even the long reach ones, I, I don't know. I enjoy the match, long story short. <laughs> so yeah, that's everything I got at Crow Hair. Well, hey guys, so I'm obviously back and I'm just gonna apply a little of this Aveeno Positively Mineral Sensitive Skin sunscreen on so you guys can see. This is super casty. I'm gonna go to the gym now um, but uh, this is a water resistant mineral sunscreen. I mean, it's got like an aggressive cast. And you may be wondering why is she gonna put sunscreen on to go to the gym? Um, uh, <laughs> kind of like asking somebody why they put makeup on before they work out, because they wanna look their best. No, uh, there are windows in my gym. And so I like to put sunscreen on before I go in there. Um, but today, I mean, <laughs> I've decided I, I want to scare everybody no this one is so casty i thought i would put it on for you guys um i don't even know if i can do i don't even know if i can do a full face <laughs> i showed you guys this one i believe in my high protection mineral sunscreen video but uh it's pretty good i mean if you can get over this <laughs> this hurdle this is the kind of zinc that zinc sunscreen that will give you good protection against visible light that drives hyperpigmentation but my goodness i mean this is not this is not really ideal for everyday everyday wear but these kind of mineral mineral sunscreens pretty easy to hack around the eyes i don't really have issue putting sunscreen around my eyes like it doesn't burn or sting except Neutrogena sunscreens often burn like the Dickens. I mean, my skin, my, my, my cheeks in particular, and around my eyes, those will burn, but otherwise I don't have, a, I don't have much sensitivity to sunscreen, probably because I'm always slapping it on. <laughs> and yeah, so that is pretty, pretty zinky. It is just zinc oxide. So this is good for kids, uh, good for anybody. The reason I say it's good for kids is that kids, their skin is a little bit um, more sensitive. So the chemical sunscreen ingredients can be more irritating for them. Uh, so this is a good choice for them. And uh, it's a good choice for being outside for a long period of time. It'll give you good protection against UV and visible light. And it's water resistant up to 80 minutes. So it's good for being in a humid environment. You still need to reapply it. Uh, every two hours while you're outside and uh, at least a couple of times throughout the day, but it's not an easy one to comply with. I mean, just on one application, look at this cast. It's, it's not super comfortable to reapply this either when it starts, starts to wear off. Um, yeah, I just had to pause and clear out some of my memory card there, but 
yeah, pretty zinky, but it's gonna give you good protection while you're outdoors um, against both UVB and UVA, as well as visible light with the iron, with the zinc. There's no tint to this, so you don't have any iron oxides to protect you, to offer protection against vis visible light. But zinc, um, large particle zinc will do that, and um, it's pretty, pretty decent sized zinc particles uh, to give you, giving you that kind of cast, but yeah, tough to hack. I've really been liking the, um, the Super Goop Mineral Sunscreen. I wish it weren't so expensive. It's really hard to find a high SPF. I mean, that's not even that high at 40. I mean, 40 is a good, good SPF, a good SPF. It's really hard to find an affordable, um, high SPF tinted mineral zinc only sunscreen, really hard. The closest mineral sunscreen that has a tint that's pretty affordable is the Cetaphil one that I like so much. I can't recommend, although it's very popular, the Australian Gold Botanic one, because that bad boy gave me, and I tried it multiple times, I had a bad irritant dermatitis to that every time I use it. So, you know, you can try that one, but I can't recommend it because I had a bad experience with it. Um, and it's just, it can be very drying. This, um, you know, is is not super drying it's kind of shiny but is an option <laughs> yeah i wish we had more affordable tinted mineral sunscreens out there but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the vlog today if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe i'll talk to you guys tomorrow